Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks, I am at the warehouse with Jason. He's checking out the battery to crush. Oh wow, yeah, you took it right out of there, didn't you? Today, Jason and I are gonna tear this thing apart under the blue uh, tarp. You guys won't see this. However, before we do that, I'm going to assemble this new gun I got here. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna have to take this up to the crush carrier because my other, well because my next biggest air compressor is right here and I don't think we're gonna put that or, or at least move that anywhere. Hey, they are both huskies. We got the mini and then we got the big guy. Working on the crush carrier is like going to battle. You have to get prepared. You have to get all your ducks in a row. You gotta get your, uh, your gun loaded. A nail gun that is. You also gotta get your other stuff prepared like your saw, your wood that's hanging on the Jeep. That one right there. Pieces of steel, more wood, the list just doesn't really end. How's battery shopping going? Well, if you didn't live in the middle of nowhere, I'd have some cell service. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't live in the middle of nowhere. I have a warehouse in the middle of nowhere. What else would you like to do? Speak to a representative, please. You said please to a computer. Jason and I finished tearing apart that mystery under the blue tarp. I just took the carcass to the scrapyard. Duramax is working good. I am hoping that I don't get any flat tires because when I was at the scrapyard, there were a lot of nails. I ran over a lot of nails and screws. Very foolish positioning, but uh, you know, it is what it is. That's why it's called the scrapyard. So if I get any flat tires today, I will be slightly irritated. And by slightly, I mean extremely irritated. That is my first truck. Let's see how this thing looks after all the time in New York. Oh yeah, it's still doing pretty good, considering how long it's been in New York. Looks like he got shot. Yeah, things handling pretty good. Up? How you doing? You remember me? Oh, did I get this from yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, I'm still driving the sound. Yeah, thing. I know. I see that. I wanted to get a couple shots if you don't mind. Yeah. Holy smokes. You see that hole in the door? Yeah, is that a bullet hole? Yeah, I was deer hunting this year down on Alder Bottom Road. You know where that's at? No. It's in, and I come out from hunting, and I had the, the windows were down, and I come out from hunting, there was a shot you, through the passenger are window you through kidding this me? door. And Holy left smokes. Left a big rifle hole in it. Jeez. Yeah. So it's working out all good and everything? Yeah, it still goes good. Good. Yeah. The only, only thing I've done to it was... I put a radiator in it. I uh, put a couple solenoids in the transmission, and other than that, that's it. So it's been treating you good. How many miles are on it now? Oh, no, quite a 220, lot. 220, 230, 240? Uh, probably about 240. These are even the same front tires still. Are they really? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So there's no hole here, so it no, came through. The windows down. It come right through the window and smashed the door jam all apart over there. And wow. Shot right through the door. Yeah. That's crazy. Isn't it though? It was kind of cool just stopping to get some lunch, well, some lunch supplies, and running into my first truck ever. That wasn't my first vehicle ever. I'll explain more in a second. I just gotta drop the trailer off. That's taken care of. It feels like it's gonna rain though. It's really, really windy. Just a reminder for another reminder, I'm giving away this GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. We only have six days left in the giveaway. All you gotta do is go to machinemerch.com, buy anything, and you're entered to get the GoPro. There are also ways to enter for free. Check out those rules at machinemerch.com. When I got my license, my parents were nice enough to give me their SUV. It was a Ford Expedition. I've told this story before, but I'm sure you know that I get new machines and machine freaks every single day. So I got the Expedition, blew that thing up because I ran it out of oil. Engines need oil, kids. After I blew up my Expedition, my uncle offered to give me a scrap price for the Expedition because it was, it was shot. Uh, I seized it right up. So <laughs> Not only that, but my uncle had that Dodge, the one that we just saw, so he sold that to me, so it was kind of like a, a give and take kind of deal. The truck was from Missouri, so it had no rust on it. I even undercoated it because here in New York State, we see a lot of salt, so I, I wanted to protect the truck. The only thing was, is I got stuck like a time, and well, let's just say it really, really sucks to get stuck with a two-wheel drive truck in the middle of a gas line. That day really woke me up about two-wheel drive, so I said, you know what, I don't want a two-wheel drive truck, plus this thing has 188,000 miles on it. I, I don't want it, so I sold it. Then I got, I think, the Ford 150 or the Nissan. So yeah, that was my first truck ever, but it was my second vehicle ever. And speaking of first vehicles, this is my first car. Now, I still want to do things with the BMW, and that's why I haven't scrapped it. And I do have a couple ideas up in here. 
So I'm thinking about diving into this in the next couple days. I mean, it has a six cylinder engine. I bought it when it didn't run, now it runs. I could probably get it legal. I mean, be able to drive it down the road, but I wanna do something different too. I've seen how a lot of people do these cars and I think I wanna do mine a lot different. So be prepared to see the big money waster in action in the next couple days. As you guys saw, two days ago, I couldn't get this beat off even by running it over with my truck. This side came off during the race, but this side, however, cannot come off. Uh-oh. During the race, dude, this side gave way. Like, I obviously, really? yeah, I obviously, I obviously, you know, took it out of the rim, but it gave way. But then when I tried to run it over with my 6,000 pound truck, it wouldn't do this speed. So why didn't this speed go on that side and make a nice seal so that it wouldn't affect it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you think your machine will take that off? Take it off. Take this thing off? Pop that off or no? Yeah. Will it? You sure? Oh, I'm sure. I raced in Ohio. Oh. This race. The last race was in South Carolina. That one was in Ohio. This oh, one was. Right. Red dirt. <laughs> yeah. That pedal right there. That pedal right there does it. Oh, I'm gonna let you do it. Cause oh. I'll, I'll hurt. I'll hurt myself. I want to see this thing do it. Oh, holy shit! Oh, that's sweet. Full of mud. Yeah. Yeah, it's full of mud. Sweet, dude. Thank you. And then I came up to the crush carrier, got some stuff done. What well, I am really, really not, uh, well, I don't know how I feel about this, but this thing was a jacuzzi tub, and it's now our just it's our junk pile. I originally treated this thing like a Cadillac, but now it's far from it. Now, frankly, we just fill it with Okay, it doesn't look like we have any flat tires. That's really, really good, because I ran over at least 50 screws and nails. And the D-Max is looking good, and the rain is making it look shiny. And I was corrected, the Duramax is a girl because it has an Allison transmission. That makes sense. Woo!